Radicalism threatens pluralistic societies and fellow democracies such as Canada and India are not immune to it. India views Sikh radicalism in Canada as a clear and present danger and wants Justin Trudeau to share India's concerns. But will Trudeau oblige? More importantly, can Trudeau condemn the Khalistani sympathizers? Vyond's Ramesh Ramachandran brings you the next report. Last month, Justin Trudeau raised political correctness a notch higher. Take a listen. We, we like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind, because uh, yeah. it's more inclusive. There we go, exactly. <laughs> yes, thank you. We can all learn from each other. <laughs> the question is, can he bring himself to call out Sikh extremism in Canada? Or will he wear his political correctness on his sleeve while touring India? Canada is home to more than a million people of Indian origin. Like in neighboring United States and Europe, the Indian-Canadian community is an influential one economically and over the years politically too. The Sikhs in particular hold sway over Canadian life and politics. Sample this. There are 19 persons of Indian origin in Canadian Parliament. 17 of the 19 are from Trudeau's Liberal Party and 15 of them are, as you would have guessed, Sikhs. There are four Sikhs in Trudeau's cabinet. Defence Minister Harjeet Singh Sajjan, Infrastructure Minister Amarjeet Sohi, Science and Innovation Minister Navdeep Bans, and Bardish Chagar, Minister of Small Business and Tourism, who is also leader of the lower house of Canada's legislature. Little wonder then that Trudeau is sometimes called Justin Singh for having more Sikhs in his cabinet than even Prime Minister Narendra Modi of India. But ties between Canada and India have not exactly blossomed under Trudeau. The reasons are not far to seek. For one, India accuses the Trudeau government of treating Sikh radicalism with kid gloves. Amarjeet Sohi, for instance, was jailed in India under an anti-terrorism law. More recently, on 6 April last year, the provincial legislature of Ontario passed a resolution moved by Harinder Malhi, a lawmaker from Trudeau's Liberal Party, which called the 1984 anti-Sikh riots in India as genocide. India responded the very next day. Indian Foreign Ministry spokesperson said, and I quote, we have noted the passage of a private member's motion in the Legislative Assembly of Ontario on April 6. We reject this misguided motion which is based on a limited understanding of India, its constitution, society, ethos, rule of law and the judicial process. Our views have been conveyed to the government and political leadership in Canada. The same month, Trudeau attended a parade in Toronto on what is known as Khalsa Day. Some in the Canadian Sikh community observe the day to glorify militants who were killed inside the Golden Temple during Operation Blue Star in 1984. India's current National Security Advisor Ajit Doval was involved in that operation as a young intelligence officer. As if that was not provocation enough, recently some Gurudwaras or Sikh places of worship in Canada barred the entry of Indian government officials. Over the last decade and more, Canada has denied visas to some serving and retired Indian military, paramilitary and intelligence officials. Last year, a former Inspector General of the Central Reserve Police Force, Tejinder Singh Dillon, was denied a visa because a Canadian consular official accused the CRPF of committing human rights abuses. The Indian Foreign Ministry was quick to raise an objection. Three serving brigadiers, a retired Lieutenant General of the Indian Army, a former Intelligence Bureau official, a retired Border Security Force personnel, all have been denied visas over the last many years. In 2013, India denied Jagmeet Singh, the Canada-born leader of New Democratic Party, for allegedly indulging in attacking India's sovereignty and territorial integrity. A section of the Canadian media thinks Trudeau should call out the Sikh separatists. An editorial in the conservative-leaning Toronto Sun 
says extremism of any kind has no place in the country. The 1985 bombing of an Air India plane by Sikh extremists in Canada, which killed 331 people, is a case in point. Some Sikhs living in Canada are said to idolize the men who allegedly planned and executed the bombing in their quest for the Sikh nation of Khalistan. Posters celebrating these men as heroes are seen at Sikh parades or festivals. The editorial says it makes for dodgy politics. But another Canadian media report quotes a Trudeau aide as saying that while his government does not support extremism, it will also not deny Indian Canadians the freedom to speak out in favour of a separate Sikh state if they wish. How that will go down with New Delhi is anybody's guess. Ramesh Ramachandran, we on.